Good morning, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. I, I want to apologize. I've kept you waiting. It just kept jumping people in front of you, so. That's, that's okay, Your Honor. Okay. Are you used to waiting? I mean, you, you look like a pretty guy that's pretty calm. I'm on medication. I'm a 100% disabled war vet, so I'm on medication for anxiety and depression. So I'm if, on medication that keeps me calm. Uh, well, if, if, if I added to your anxiety, I apologize. But That's okay, Your Honor. trying to do our job. One of these charges is that you went through a red light. I don't recall doing that, Your Honor. That's right. I want you to relax, right? Yes, Your Honor. Don't get anxious here, right? There's nothing that's going to happen here that's going to be excitable, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. We have a video of the red light. I just want to look at it. Okay, yes, we'll, Your Honor. We'll show it up here. Wow. You were in a hurry. I, I, in that vicinity, I must have been uh, um, to the vets? late for the VA. I was heading towards the VA. I had an appointment, and I get anxious when I'm late. It just, I get. I see you getting anxious now. Don't get nervous. I don't. I apologize. No, don't apologize to me. I'm apologizing to you. You're a war vet. What, what, what uh, branch of the service were you in? Army. I was a sergeant, a military police officer for the 119th MP Company. Yeah, and where did you serve? Iraq, back in 03 to 04, oh. and I lost hearing. Um, I. I'm a recovery can, uh, recovering cancer patient. It's due to the radiation I experienced in Iraq. I've been cancer-free now three years, and I have a pinched nerve in my spine, and I have um, anxiety disorder, P severe PTSD, and manic depressive. Are you getting adequate medical treatment from the vets? I'm on medication for these, and I see a psychiatrist once a month. Oh. That must have been one of my appointments to see my psychiatrist. How long were you in this? How long did you serve in Iraq? Thirteen months, Your Honor. Once you get once you get into an accident, once you can't go back. That's when I lost my hearing to um, an IED blew up near my Humvee, and I lost my left side of my hearing. Well, let me tell you how I feel about this. Okay. You have a condition that was brought about by your service to this country. You were nearly killed with a blast. You lost your hearing. You served honorably to defend all of us that are seated here today. And I think the least that we can do is show our gratitude in so many ways. And the least that I can do is say, listen, you went through a red light. You were on your way to get treatment at the vets because of a condition that was brought about by your service to this country. The anxiety was brought about because of war damage that was done to you. I think the least we can do is say, you know what, we're going to give you a pass on this. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it. And I'm going to do that. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm going to dismiss both of these charges. Thank you. With our gratitude and our thanks to you for everything you've done for this country. Thank you, Your Honor.